The year, hey, is, the year is almost to a close, and uh, today we're going to be counting down our top 10 movies from 2017. home too. Jago movie. Oh, that's an Lego. That's another Lego. I haven't seen that one. Quite frankly, I've never been in the Ninjago. So that's why I skipped it. I might watch it later on, but until uh, while I still have to pay for it to watch, I'm not going to watch it because it just is worth it to me. What's your my number eight is Cheaper Scrapers Three. Um. Not that bad of a movie. I still think I still think it's better than the original, and people will fight me so much on that. But I think it. I just think it was better than the original. I don't like the original at all. Well, I, the original was great, but the sequels were better. All right. Interesting. My number seven is Happy Death Day. Uh, that was a good one, uh, using the Groundhog Day format. Still, I didn't see that one. Um, I'm probably gonna, uh, when it comes out on DVD or when I see it on TV, I'm gonna definitely watch, give it a watch and check it out. What about, what's your number, or my what's number? number seven? That we're on seven, right? Yeah. My number seven is... Wonder. Um, mm. It based on the book Wonder, and maybe I like it so much because I read the book before, and I kind of, and I read the book before, so I know what to expect, and I can actually do a in-depth movie review on this. I I saw it too, so we may, we, could, we might be able to do a movie review when we do when we do once either before or after we do the horror hall of fame. Yeah. Um, what's your number six? My number six is It. Oh, um, It was a great movie. I kind of ranked it higher just because I, um, it just seemed like uh, Stephen King. This was the year for Stephen King. So <coughs> it's actually pretty good. All right. What's your number six? My number six is Get Out by uh, Jordan Peele. Um, Jordan Peele, great upcoming director. For this is his directorial debut. Actually, really liked it. My number five is Jeepers Creepers Three. Oh, Jeepers Creepers Three was a movie this year. That was a movie that. Horror fans actually had to fight for it because the director, yeah, he did some bad stuff, but they had to fight get it in the theaters and they had to defend themselves for even going to see the movie. Uh, we liked the first two. Why, why not go see the third one? And I, I know someone who hated Cult of Chucky. 
the cult of Ducky is his number six after Seed. And he's one of my favorite horror movie things. He put number six, see, Chuck, Cult of Chucky, at number six, right after Seed in his rankings. And he even said that Keepers Creepers 3 was worse than Cult. So if you think that it's that bad to be put at number six in the cosplay ranking, and that be worse than Cult? Cult is a good movie. I liked it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, my, my number, number... Oh. My number five is Who Two on the Dia Halloween. Two. This was the second one. Um, the, I actually went to see the first one in theaters, and so did I this one. I, I saw this one the first, uh, a couple days after it came out, or maybe it was the day it came out, but it was a fun little horror comedy. Yeah. What's your my, number four? My number four is um, the Lego Batman movie. Oh, you liked it too. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a good movie. Not, not um, Zach Galifianakis, great Joker. Um, so my number four was Get, yeah, 2017. Um. I just thought it was a great remake, and a, especially a great horror movie, and even better, it was a great Stephen King movie, because you had two Stephen King movies coming out in theaters this year. One was great, and the other one was The Dark Tower. Um, and then there's also another one, 1922, Net there's two of them on Netflix, 1922 and Gerald's Game. Um, my number, my number three is Wonder. Oh, you really like that movie. I, I read the book, and <coughs> the movie just steered away from the book. I, because they didn't even have Justin's chapter, and they didn't even have some of the chapters in there. Yeah. They didn't have Justin's chapter, and they didn't have, uh, oh, there Maybe was someone else. Didn't have Summer's chapter in there, so yeah, that's that's probably why. But what's your number three? Uh, my number three was Jumanji: Welcome to the Jungle or Jumanji Two. I saw this in theaters on Christmas Eve, so not that long ago. Um, it was it stars The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black. And, oh, I can't think of the girl for the life of me, but it was a great movie. And the fact that Jack Black was having to play a girl in the body of a man mm -hmm. just thought, because um, he, this was the first time she ever had a wing wing. So when he said, when she, she said, um, can you show me how to use the bathroom with this? And it was like... And, and then she pulled it out, and she said, Whoa, you guys have a handle. This is no fair. And then, it, she, and then Jack Black, playing as a girl, says, The fact that I'm not Instagramming this right now is crazy. It's insane. And it's just um, like, they actually show it, but they're talking about him having or him having, the girl having to learn how to use a wing wang. It's made for comedy gold there. Uh, my number two is Cult of Chucky. Oh, wow. My Cult of Chucky didn't even make my list because now that you think of it, now that I think of it, it's, it's good, but it's not one of the best of the year. This year was a great year for the movie, for, uh, the movie industry. What's your number two? My number two is Cars 3, mm. uh, with uh, Owen Wilson, Kyle, uh, Kyle Pei, um, um, what's his name, uh, Mayor, or where is Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott and Daniel Suarez are in it. Uh-huh. Um, what's your number, without brother, oh, honorable mentions, where? My honorable mentions is... Probably gonna be Get Out. 
Oh, yeah. So, I mention. But my number one is Cars 3. Cars 3, your number one. Um, what do you think of it? Um, amazing movie. Uh, the suspense that makes you want to watch it. You don't know if Landon McQueen's going to retire or not. Um, really good movie overall. I really liked it. I saw it in a drive-in movie. I, I went into a drive-in and saw it. So that was very, that was a fun experience. Honorable mentions for me are, um, um, oh, I don't know whether I can say this. Can I say it since it's a movie title? What? This is a PG show, but I have to say it because of the, um, movie title. Um, Hellraiser Judgment Day. I think it was Judgment Day or Armageddon that came out this year. Love that. Um, Phantasm, Ravager, pretty cool, but it wasn't that good. Cult of Chucky, um, The Babysitter, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be good. And Little Evil, I haven't seen yet, but I'm supposing that that's supposed to be a good one. So, What's your number one? My number one is Logan, Ooh. the best superhero movie ever. With um, Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, it's the perfect way to end Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. It's just the perfect movie. The perfect, perfect movie. Watch. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below for more awesome videos like this, and we will five. see you. We will see oh, you guys hey. in 2000. Uh, what? Stop. Stop. Uh, guys, is it, did you stop the camera yet or not? No. All right, guys. Uh, this is um, Spectrum or the Old Time Warner Cable. This is the way they ranked it. Wilson from 2017 starring uh, Woody Harrelson. Um, was ranked number 10, or most watch number 10 on most watch. Um, then Mother. Is that movie nine. was weird. Trophy at 8, at 7, Gook at 9, or at 6. 6, Dunkirk at 5, Detroit at 4, Stronger. At three permanent, at two flatliners, and at one um, Logan Lucky. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys. This has been a fun, like, four, four months. Four months. <laughs> been a fun four months here, and we will see you all in two thousand and eighteen. Have a good one. Uh, happy New Year. Happy yeah. New Year. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and we will see you in 2018. Goodbye.